gonna be telling a story. No, do you have money? I've already eaten my food. No, I don't have money. Well, you better get ready to wash some dishes then. Hey, what's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again, and here's some crazy clips of the worst single moms I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. And to be honest, one of the most heartbreaking things I have ever watched this single mother left her baby outside in the street so she can go party in the club. What's your name? Mm. You're okay. Could you call 911? You can call 911. Hey, Dominic, I got a blanket in the back of the car. In, in the, um, uh, yeah, Dominic, boy. Uh -huh. I got a blanket in the car. You're okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. They be in the street. This is what we doing. You Utica now. Police? Did you call 911? Yeah. Call you didn't call them? We'll call them now. Damn, man. This is what we do now. They be in the street. Yeah, yeah. Bring it over, huh? That's what people do now, you feel me? Leaving the kids in the street. Um, I was driving That's and... my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. That's my baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just... Did you guys hear the panic from that woman at the end of the clip? Acting like she is super confused about how that baby got there. That baby can barely crawl. The fact that it crawled all the way in the middle of the street shows how long you left it alone. So don't try to pretend and say that you were super cautious and you lost them on accident. This is simply just not the case. And all for you just to be found in the club at night really shows where your priorities are. And thankfully some guy was recording so they can just show this as evidence to the police and completely remove custody of this child. I really do hope he's doing fine. Yeah three baby dads yeah i put myself on blast whatever but there is this misconception you know that people have about women with th multiple baby dads and i just wanted to get on here and clear this one up in a different perspective a lot of comments like oh damn you fucked it up three times wah 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 like um first of all women with one baby dad want that one baby dad most of the time a lot of the time to do right by them because we don't want to be single mothers then they don't do that and then we gotta leave we gotta leave we gotta find another one and let me tell you that second one i was throwing it back like nobody's business because i was like i'm trying to keep this one he accepts me with my baby daddy and my baby you know like let me let me figure out what i gotta do to not mess this up that motherfucker done fuck that shit up too and i gotta leave his ass too and let me tell you when i got the third one he accept me with my babies and all two baby daddies girl i was done throwing that shit back i was doing shit in a handstand like shit he ain't never been done in his life shit i ain't never done in my life because i was literally trying to figure out how i'm going to keep this prize of a man keep this motherfucker and then that motherfucker done fuck shit up too it don't matter you throw it in a handstand you get it from the back and you could do anything for these motherfuckers and they will go and fuck shit up. Now, there is a lot of things she just said absolutely wrong in these clips. First off, the thing I have to point out is through every single new guy she met, she said she had to do new things for him to please him, like more of a sexual way. Now, the thing is that's wrong with that is why is that her only way of showing value to a man? Is that all you really provide and bring to the table? Just by doing new tricks and doing new handstands? Is that really it? Is that how you plan to keep a man? Second, if three guys you come across end up being completely horrible men you got to do some deep serious reflection because at some point you got to realize that you're just a cum bucket these guys are pulling up on you doing whatever they want and you're pretty much letting them without clearly showing that you really know them too much she needs to take accountability for her actions he doesn't have kids but so he's one of those that got a chick with two kids and he don't have kids he's one of those Correct. he's one of those but guess what he wants to have a big family he wants a lot of kids and i can't give that to him but i can give him at least one and that's about it because i got two already and that's just his you way just said he can't man. have his dreams come true because he's with you something is wrong here now this is exactly why i should probably stay away from single mothers in my opinion obviously it depends if they got pregnant out of marriage because if they did nine times out of ten you have a higher chance of being the next baby daddy than actually being with her permanently i am a manager at an urban clothing store and i only make thirty five thousand dollars a year and i'm paying child support toward my ex-wife here she uh she is a dental assistant and also she does herbal life distribution and she's making a little over 200 grand a year i just need a little help because she's not making she's not uh doing child support at all and um, 
it's a struggle for me right now. What is it? Where where is it that you're working? I work for a dental firm. Okay, but according to the documents that you provided, you make about one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars at your main job, and then an additional twenty five thousand dollars doing Herbalife on the side. Pay me my money. <laughs> this man only makes. $35,000 and you think he should still be paying child support and he has the children more than you? But like, wait, there's more. Is that what you're asking me to do? Allow this man to keep paying child support. Hmm. Based on this, so your child support obligation comes out to $1,456 a month. That is to be paid each month on the first of each month. And those payments are going to be allocated to Mr. Carter. <laughs> this is absolutely so satisfying to watch because well it rarely happened the fact that finally the system is being used correctly for men is super amusing to watch and also the fact that this woman still wanted to get money from this man knowing how broke he was shows that it's only a revenge tactic and sometimes majority of child support is just revenge against the ex for their past experiences so they always have something to hold over them the rest of their lives you know i don't think when people look at this situation i do not think that they're considering me as a human being i was three months pregnant with a child that I was super attached to with somebody I loved very deeply, a child that we planned. Like I was in the adult entertainment. I was doing while I was in my relationship with Freddie. I got off birth control, stopped doing all my boy girl scenes, lost out on hundreds of thousands of dollars to get pregnant by this dude, yeah. all for him to tell me, actually, I don't know. And mind you, this dude has three kids already. That okay, he, yeah, and he showed me that he was a good dad to these three kids. We took them on vacations. They were always at the house. I would never just, and people love to say like, oh, you knew who you were laying up with. But like, no, like that person I was laying up with was taking care of his children. I would never just lay up with a dude just, just to have a baby by him if he was a piece of shit father. He yeah. didn't show me that. I say all that to say when I was three months pregnant, he asked me to get an abortion and I didn't do it. I did go to the clinic and I tried to do it. I, okay. I could not follow through with it. They showed me my baby in my belly and they were like, we can't get a still image of the baby because it's doing backflips in your uterus. Damn. You're about 12 weeks pregnant. And I was like, no. Yeah, at that point. I'll do this with or without you. You're weird as for creating a life and then disappearing and saying you don't know mm. but that's something that you got now i can't lie i have to say the guy she was messing with is absolutely stupid i don't think she should have gotten the abortion either if he said he was gonna be committed with her and he didn't when she became pregnant then yes he is in the wrong but then again she's also in the wrong because she's also in this industry so what kind of men do you think are gonna come across amazing great men no this process just comes with a lifestyle because this is what you're doing for a living <laughs> Now, before you guys can believe these crocodile tears and her entire sob story that she posts on TikTok, please watch this next clip from her ex-husband who clarifies the entire situation. So I've been sent this video a lot over the last few days. Um, people asking my thoughts and my comments on it. And before anyone says, oh, you don't know her situation or, you know, you don't know what she's going through. Well, I do because I lived it. Um, I'm her ex-husband and um, right now I have full custody of our kids. This is our parent agreement. As you can see, I have all weekdays and weekends, time sharing with the kids, all at holiday academic breaks. And for her to get any rights back to the kids, these are the things that she needs to do. And yes, child support, she owes that. It's up to over $21,000. So she's a mother and doesn't pay child support. She was then arrested for check fraud, and during that hearing, it turned out that it was found that she stole almost a million dollars from another guy. And also, she faked cancer in the past. These are scans that she would send and post on her page uh, before. So, you know, to sum it up, you know, this person, for people that follow her or giving her praise and showing, telling her how strong and how, you know, amazing she's doing, uh, well, she's really not a full-time mom. Um, she barely has her kids. Uh, she goes out all the time, um, and she doesn't even have a job even. So she uh, just really not someone that other single mom should really be looking towards as for inspiration or anything like that. Gotcha. 
<laughs> so there you go guys this guy pretty much exposed his ex-wife for pretty much committing a felony i think he said a million dollars is what she stole and now he has full custody or majority of the custody of the children sometimes people need to do their research and take a closer look rather than just face value of these clips because just because a woman is crying doesn't mean she's in the right however even though this ex-husband ended up posting this clip he still ended up getting so much backlash from the women in the community that they ended up saying things like this the fact that your profile name is inventing elizabeth speaks volumes you are obsessive and crazy praying for elizabeth and those kids he is just clearing up the story how is this obsessive you've done everything but answer my question how old was elizabeth when you two met excuse me what what does that have to do with anything he didn't put her in prison she put herself in prison he didn't ruin her life she did now people are trying to change up the topic completely i am terrified for elizabeth this is insane that makes no sense you are crazy go elizabeth justice for elizabeth and her children who are unfortunately have you as a father who is in prison here like are people this stupid if it wasn't for this guy being the father he is these children would be in foster care is that what majority people prefer no because we're not gonna stop supporting elizabeth and making sure those kids are safe what did this man do if anything she is the one endangering the kids this is feminism at its best though a man is always in the wrong no matter what okay you got it i think we have a problem I love them. I love them. I forgot my wallet in my work truck at the office. No, you did not. Yes, I did. Do you have money? Christopher, you better be telling a story. No, do you have money? I've already eaten my food. No, I don't have money. Well, you better get ready to wash some dishes then. You can call your mom to bring us money. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. No, I'm Casey, you. I'm kidding. I have money. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. Your mom will bring us oh cash. my gosh, yes. <laughs> now, to be honest, guys, I think this is some kind of funny joke. I don't think it's that serious. This is his wife. If she expects him to always pay on the dates, and that's a typical thing that always happens, I think it's fine. Should she always carry some money on her just in case this would ever happen? Yes, I do agree to that. But we don't know if she's working or not, and we don't know if he's the main provider of the family. But leave your opinions down below about this last clip because that does wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do more content just like this, please watch the videos you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.